Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Trancher Dan here, and I'm going to do a big video to show you my uh, setup for my jungle nymphs, which I recently rehoused. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't do too many videos of these, but I really should do more. Um, and yeah, these were kept in a sweet job previously, but now I've got them in this really nice tank. It's twenty, it's about twenty by eight by eight, I think. Um, roughly, uh, I haven't got a ruler to measure, but uh, yeah, it's a nice little setup. Uh, there's a glass lip along here so that the dirt doesn't fall out when I open this door. This door goes up and down vertical. Um, substrate in the back, got some plants. I've actually put like a little pot underneath there um, with water in it and put some substrate over the top. So hopefully these plants will be able to grow in there. Um, plants are easy to get. You give them bramble. I get mine from the garden, so not too far to venture for me. Um, yeah, and when you buy these guys, you actually get them in a pair. I got mine from the BTS, but I was looking at uh, getting some more recently, which I will do uh, at some point. Um, and if you are interested in some of these, and I would highly recommend that you do go and get some, um, whenever you buy them, they always come in pairs, whether you get them as young nymphs or as adults. Um, and the place to go for them is Virginia Cheeseman. I was looking on her website and was very tempted to buy some. Of course, I ended up getting um, a couple of other different inverts, and, you know, spiders instead. But um, yeah, they're awesome guys. Uh, these have grew body probably, I'd say, they were just under half the size when I had them back in May. So, you know, six months later or so, and they've like over doubled in size. Really impressive looking insects. that if you can see, see him, but he's uh, got these awesome camouflage markings on him. And obviously the female is just big and green. And they have still got a lot of growing to do, probably only half their size now so um yeah they're really nice display insects as you can see they're always out um you know they're easy to handle and things if you have to get them out um really cheap to buy and to maintain as well and like i said because you get them as a pair they will always uh well no hopefully will have babies which would be awesome and he's just doing a bit of a bit of a dance <laughs> so yeah guys I would uh, highly recommend that you uh, look into getting some of these if you do keep any kind of inverts because um, they really are a pleasure to have um, I've actually fell in love with these and will definitely be getting some more um, as well as breeding some as well hopefully these will have some eggs in our have a big colony of them I'll probably end up getting like a big extra terror to keep these in when they get fully grown and you know have uh, quite a lot of them because they are fantastic guys um, so yeah like I said, I'll just show you this very quick video of my new setup for them I hope that they will like that um, I've tried to make it a lot more spacious than their old enclosure um, more room to climb around and things so uh, yeah guys that is this video done. I oh, went just very quickly as well. I've got this to show you as well. Um, yeah, they do molt. And this is the molt of the male. So, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool little things. You can show these molts off to people like you do with off the oil spider molts. I've got an absolute ton of them from, uh, from different spiders. I think this is one of Zelda's last molts, you can see, I mean, how big that is, it's not even stretched out. But yeah, these are awesome guys, and like I said, I will put a link in the description, so you can go and have a look at them yourself, and maybe get some. And if you do get some guys, post a video response and let me know, it'd be nice to know if anyone does go and buy some. Um, so yeah, quick video guys, hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, take care, and I will speak to you soon.